All right, Doc Positive here at the Paws Veterinary Clinic, and I'm here with Bugaboo. Hey, uh, she was just adopted from the Messina Humane Society, and the new owner's great clients, been clients of mine for 20, God, some years. <laughs> Uh, they saw her and said, we got to have her, we got to find out. And they were told that uh, this dog had a birth defect. And uh, they went up, they looked at her, and uh, they felt pretty sure that it was not a birth defect, that something had happened to the leg, but it was a birth defect. This is what Dr. Claire calls a flipper foot. And my pit bull, Tyga, had the exact same birth defect as a puppy. Flipper foot. I call it a flipper foot because the leg's all bent and shriveled up and contorted. Uh, let me show you here. Let's see your leg. Come on. If you look here, this foot is all misshapen. It's bent at the wrist and her shoulder here. Her elbow is fused. Her wrist is fused bends up and the thing about this flipper foot is these dogs because they do have a leg here but they can't use it let's get her up here Chris and see if we can come on if you watch every time she takes a step let me hold her still there Chris yeah there and you can see she tries to put that down and it's too short and just yep and so these flipper feet are a problem because the dog has something there that they're trying to use. And Chris and Wayne, good people, they would do whatever it takes. They were asking me, well, what about fitting her with a prosthetic foot or a prosthetic leg? Dogs do not understand the dynamic real well behind an artificial limb. And a person, you would amputate that uh foot as far down so you could fit an artificial uh, foot. Dogs, uh, we typically do an amputation up as high as possible so they're not trying to use it. My pit bull Tyga, she's also a brindle pit bull just like this one. Uh, had to flip her foot and when I finally convinced the owners after about a year to amputate the leg, the dog did much, much better because they're not trying to use it. If they lose it, they can't use it, and they do better off. Now, the thing that I told the people that do with Tyga was keep these dogs thin. Don't let them get heavy because once they lose that, see her walking around here? Walking around a little, Chris, so we can just see. I want to see on the side. Bring her over this, bring her towards me. And so she's trying to put that down, but it's all shriveled and contorted, and she will do much better off without it. Now, Mom here, she's got to go home and convince Dad, because Dad wants to do whatever he can. The best thing for this dog is to get rid of that flipper foot, and the dog will live happily ever after. Doc Positive here with a flipper foot pit bull. Bye now.